Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JEN neat resource at your fingertips. Now let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, continue watching this video. Let us now take an example of salt of weak acid and weak base. Let BA is the salt which is being formed from weak acid HA and weak base BOH. Since BA is a strong electrolyte, the moment it is put in water, it almost undergoes complete ionization to give B plus plus A minus. Now B plus is formed from weak base. Therefore, it is strong acid conjugate. Similarly, A minus is formed from HA, weak acid. Therefore, it is strong base conjugate. So here both the conjugates are strong. Both undergo hydrolysis. The cationic hydrolysis B plus reacting with water to give BOH, the weak base and H plus. And this cationic hydrolysis makes the solution to be acidic in nature. Equation 1. But what about the anion? A minus anionic hydrolysis do take place as it is a strong conjugate. Reacts with water to give HEA the weak acid plus OH minus. The greater the extent to which anionic hydrolysis takes place, the more is the strength for OH minus in the solution. Therefore, the solution becomes basic in nature. That is equation 2. So, whether the aqueous solution is acidic or basic will depend upon the relative strengths of B plus and A minus. But if the relative strength of B plus is same as the relative strength of A minus, that is the extent of cationic and anionic hydrolysis is the same, then the solution will become neutral. So, it results in neutral solution. Thus, the aqueous solution solved from weak acid and weak base may be acidic, may be basic, may be neutral. It all depends upon the relative strengths of weak acid and weak base. In other words, it depends upon Ka of the acid and Kb of the base. Let us see if Ka is greater than Kb. In other words, the ionization constant of acid is more than the B. In other words, acid is found to be stronger to the base. Therefore, the solution becomes acidic in nature. Acidic solution. pH will be less than 7. But if Ka is less than Kb, that is Kb is greater than Ka, that is the relative strength of the base is more than the relative strength of the acid. In other words, the salt is said to be formed from strong base and weak acid. The solution will become basic in nature. So, solution exhibits basic nature. And we have if Ka is equal to Kb. That is, relative strength of the acid is same as relative strength of the base. Both acid and base are of equal strength. Then the solution will be neutral in nature. So, the actual nature of the solution does depend on the Ka and Kb values. Let us now take an example of ammonium acetate CH3 COO NH4. This ammonium acetate is a salt of weak acid, acetic acid, weak base, ammonia. Thereby the moment it is put in water, it undergoes complete ionization to give acetate ion and ammonium ion. This acetate ion being formed from acetic acid, it is a strong base conjugate. Whereas ammonium ion being formed from weak base, it is strong acid conjugate. Thereby we find both the conjugates are strong in nature. Both will compete for reaction with water. So if anionic hydrolysis takes place, CH3COO- reacts with water to give acetic acid CH3COOH and OH-. So this OH- ions are responsible for the solution to be basic in nature. So thus, anionic hydrolysis results in basic nature. But in addition to this, cation NH4 plus also can undergo hydrolysis to give ammonium hydroxide weak base this time and H plus. These H plus ions are responsible for the solution to be acidic in nature. And therefore, whether the aqueous solution is acidic or basic will depend upon the relative strengths of these acetate ion and ammonium ion. How do you know the relative strengths of these two? by knowing Ka and Kb values of acetic acid and ammonia respectively. Now, in the case of Ka for acetic acid, 
the value is nearly found to be 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5. For Kb for ammonia, in other words, ammonium hydroxide is also 1.8 into say 10 to the power of minus 5. Since here in this particular case, Ka is equal to Kb is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5, both cationic hydrolysis and anionic hydrolysis take place to the same extent. Therefore, the strength of H plus in the solution becomes equal to the strength of OH minus in the solution. That is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 molar. Therefore, pH is equal to POH is equal to 7. Thereby, this particular solution of ammonium acetate is neutral in nature. For other salts of weak acid and weak base, depending upon the K and KB values, the nature of the aqueous solution will depend. Let us now take certain amount of water in a container to which a salt of weak acid and weak base like ammonium acetate is added. So thus addition of ammonium acetate takes place. The moment it goes into water, it breaks into ions to give acetate ions and ammonium ions. Acetate ion being strong base conjugate, it takes H plus from water and become acetic acid. That is ammonium acetate in water is breaking into acetate ions and ammonium ions. The acetate ions combines with H plus of water to give weak acid acetic acid. Let us see that. The H plus and OH minus of water, H plus combining with acetate ions to give acetic acid. Now the ammonium ions take the leftover OH minus ions to become ammonium hydroxide, the weak base. Now let us see how OH minus combines with ammonium ions and giving ammonium hydroxide. Let us repeat the process. The acetate ion and ammonium ion form due to ammonium acetate ionization in water. The H plus and OH minus of water, H plus combining with acetate ion to give acetic acid. OH minus ions combining with ammonium ions to give ammonium hydroxide. Thus, a weak acid, acetic acid and a weak base, ammonium hydroxide are formed. Then what is the nature of the solution? It depends upon the relative strengths of acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide. We know that the Ka and Kb values of acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide are almost equal. Thereby, the relative strengths of these two, acid and base being equal, the concentration of the weak acid formed is equal to the concentration of weak base formed. Therefore, the concentration of H plus from weak acid and the concentration of OH minus from weak base will be equal and is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 molar. Therefore, the solution will have pH is equal to POH is equal to 7. Hence, the solution is neutral. Let us now see by using the pH meter, what is the pH of this solution? That's how the pH meter is showing the value of pH 7. Therefore, this particular aqueous solution, the salt, ammonium acetate is 7. But for other salts of weak acid and weak base, the pH value need not be 7. It depends upon Ka and Kb values of the weak acid and weak base from which the salt is formed. Let us now calculate the hydrolysis constant for the salt that is being formed from weak acid and weak base. Let the salt be A. The salt from weak acid and weak base is put in water. It reacts with water to give the weak base BOH and weak acid HA. But BA being the salt, the strong electrolyte will be in the form of ions. Therefore, the Ibo equation can be written as B plus plus A minus reacting with solvent water to give weak base BOH and HA. And this system being at equilibrium, the hydrolysis constant KH can now be written as BOH concentration into the concentration of HA by the concentration of the salt. In other words, B plus into A minus. Equation 1. But for weak base BOH, which undergoes ionization to the smaller extent in water to give B plus OH minus, we have the Kb expression as B plus concentration into OH minus concentration by the concentration of BOH. Say equation 2. Then what about HA? HA also is a weak acid. It will be in an equilibrium with its ions in water H plus plus A minus. Therefore, Ka can be written as H plus concentration into A minus concentration by the concentration of unionized weak acid HA equation 3. Now, making use of equation 2 and 3, substituting in equation 1, we can write this hydrolysis constant expression Kh 
is equal to BOH by B plus can be written as OH minus by AB. Similarly, HA by A minus in equation 1 can be replaced by H plus by KA. But we know that the product of hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion concentration in water is nothing but KW, ionic product of water. Therefore, the above hydrolysis constant expression KH can now be written as KW by KA into KB. So, the hydrolysis constant KH for a salt of weak acid and weak base is given by KW by KA into KB. So, KW is the ionic part of water which is always constant at 25 degrees centigrade it is 10 to the power of minus 14 and if KA and KB values are known it is possible to find the value of KH that is hydrolysis constant for a salt of weak acid and weak base. Now how to calculate the degree of hydrolysis for the salt from weak acid and weak base. We have taken the example for the salt of weak acid and weak base as BA that is B plus and A minus of the salt reacting with water to give BOH weak base and HA weak acid. If C is the initial concentration of the salt then we can write the concentration of B plus as C and also A minus as C. If H is the degree of hydrolysis at equilibrium we have C into 1 minus H or A minus C into 1 minus H and how much is the BOH formed? CH. What about HA? CH. And we have hydrolysis constant KH given by BOH concentration that is nothing but CH into HA concentration that is nothing but CH by B plus concentration that is C into 1 minus H. We need to take the concentration of B plus at equilibrium. Therefore, it is C into 1 minus H. Similarly, that of A minus once again C into 1 minus H. So, this C, C, C gets cancelled giving H square by 1 minus H whole square say equation 1. Now, if this degree of hydrolysis H is 2 less when compared to that of 1, 1 minus H is taken as 1 itself. Therefore, the above expression KH can now be written as H square itself. Therefore, H is equal to root of KH. So, the degree of hydrolysis H for a salt of weak acid and weak base is nothing but square root of hydrolysis constant. So, if you know the hydrolysis constant, just take the square root of it, it gives the value of degree of hydrolysis. But we know that the KH is nothing but KW by KA into KB. Therefore, KH being KW by KA into KB, let us substitute this for H. H is equal to, now root of KH can be written as KW by KA into KB. So, this is the relation to calculate the degree of hydrolysis. So, we need KW, the ionic product of water which is constant, KA, the ionization constant for weak acid which is constant for a given weak acid, KB which is constant for a given weak base. So, by knowing KW, KA and KB, it is possible to calculate H. And if you observe, you find that in this particular relation, there is no concentration of the salt term at all. That is, the degree of hydrolysis of a salt of weak acid and weak base does not depend on concentration of the salt. So, let us put that as note, the degree of hydrolysis H for the salt formed from weak acid and weak base does not depend on the concentration of salt. Now, how to find out the pH of aqueous solution salt formed from weak acid and weak base? We have taken the hydrolysis equation as B plus and A minus of the salt react with the solvent water to give BOH and HA. And if C is the molar concentration of salt, H is the degree of hydrolysis. At equilibrium, we can write as C into 1 minus H as the concentration of B plus left over. C into 1 minus H as the concentration of A minus. And CH is the concentration of BOH. CH is the concentration of HA. And now to find the pH of this solution, let us take this weak acid HA, which undergoes ionization in water to the smaller extent to give H plus and A minus equation 1. The Ka for the above system can be written as H plus concentration into A minus concentration by the concentration of unionized acid HA. Therefore, H plus from the equation can be written as Ka into HA by A minus. 
therefore h plus is equal to k a but what is h a that is c h what is a minus that is c into 1 minus h from the above relation so here c c gets cancelled to give k a into h by 1 minus h but we know that this h by 1 minus h is nothing but root k h therefore h plus now can be written as k a into root of k h but what is k h k w by k a into k b let us substitute in the place of k h k w by k a into k b which can be written as therefore h plus is equal to k a into root of k h that is k w by k a into k b therefore h plus is equal to root of k w k a by k b so this is what is the h plus concentration in the aqueous solution say equation 1 when we know the h plus concentration how can we find out the ph let us take logarithms on either side it becomes log of h plus is equal to half of log of k w plus half log k a minus half log k b let us multiply with the negative sign throughout minus log of h plus is equal to minus half log k w minus half log k a plus half log k b and let us now use the definition minus log of h plus is nothing but the ph minus log kw is p of kw that is 14 by 2 that is 7 minus log k is p of ka which can be now written as plus half p a a and this minus log kb being pkb we can write minus half pkb so thus ph of an aqueous solution of the salt from weak acid and weak base is given by ph is equal to 7 plus half pka minus half pkb in other words if we know the pka and pkb values it is possible to find the ph of aqueous solution of the salt thus the ph of the aqueous solution of the salt from weak acid and weak base will depend upon pka and pkb values case 1 if p of k a is less than p of k b indirectly k a is greater than k b that is acid is stronger to base then the solution will have ph less than 7 and thereby the solution is said to be acidic let us take case 2 if p k a is greater than p k b in other words k a is less than k b that is acid is weaker to base since base being stronger the solution will have ph greater than 7 therefore the nature of the solution is basic solution is formed case 3 if p of k a is equal to p of k b in other words k a is equal to k b that is the relative strength of weak acid is same as the weak base then the solution will have ph 7 as we have seen in the case of ammonium nitrate therefore the solution will be neutral in nature thus to know the actual nature of the solution of a salt of weak acid and weak base it is must to know the ka and kb or pka and pkb values note an important point to be remembered in the case of aqueous solution salt from weak acid and weak base is nothing but the ph aqueous solution salt does not depend on the concentration of the salt at all so therefore note ph of aqueous solution of salt from weak acid and weak base is independent of concentration of the salt let the concentration of salt be 1 molar 0.1 molar 0.01 molar the nature of the solution just depends upon k and kb values of the weak acid and weak base from which the salt is formed but not on concentration i hope you can now answer the question take a look at the solution now hit the bell icon below to subscribe to learnpedia channel and enjoy learning through more such interesting videos Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online, on our website, and offline through SD card or pen drive solutions. Buy now at www.learnpedia.n. You can also try a free demo of a product before making a purchase.